Modern automobiles have sophisticated sensors for almost every system. Even though these sensors operate at their best, problems can arise when they malfunction. The ability to reset the throttle body sensor is crucial if you need to work with it. In this video, we're going to show you six ways of resetting a throttle position sensor at home. Use an OBD2 scanner. Using an OBD2 scanner is the simplest method for calibrating and resetting a throttle sensor on the majority of contemporary automobile models. To accomplish this, you must however confirm that the diagnostic scanner you purchase is compatible with your vehicle's engine and features a throttle sensor reset function appropriate for your vehicle model. Many OBD2 scanners are available for low prices, but if they are incompatible with your vehicle, they won't be of any use. For this reason, you should do extensive research before making a purchase. Furthermore, the throttle sensor can only be manually reset for a few car models. Remove fuse. Each electronic component of the vehicle passes via a fuse. You can manually reset the sensor by removing the fuse. There is no fuse for only the throttle position sensor in most car models. However, there should be a fuse for the engine control module that sends the power to the throttle position sensor. Check your owner's manual for the fuse location. Push accelerator. It might not take much work to reset the sensor. Keep the key in the on position and turn on the car without starting the engine. If you have a keyless start, you only need to press the button once to start the engine. For 20 seconds, keep the accelerator pedal depressed. It should come as close to the floor as it can. Slowly release it and switch off the vehicle. To check if things have improved, start the engine normally and take a drive. Disconnect battery. It can be helpful to disconnect the battery whenever you want to reset an electronic device. Disconnect the battery's negative cable. Before reconnecting the battery, let it sit unplugged for 5 minutes. This will reset all of the car's electronics, including the stereo preset and clock. Most people prefer to start with one of the other methods first, for this reason alone. Drive the vehicle. Sometimes driving the car is necessary to reset the sensor. Turn on the engine and accelerate as fast as you can down the highway. You should constantly be moving faster than 40 miles per hour. The car should be gradually accelerated and decelerated once it reaches highway speeds. Every session should be separated by a few minutes. Resetting the sensor could improve responsiveness. Idle engine. After starting the engine, let the vehicle sit at a standstill for three minutes. Turn off the vehicle when the allotted time has passed. Feel free to repeat these steps. In certain models, the same outcomes can be obtained by turning the key on without starting the engine. To find out what is suitable for your vehicle, consult the service manual. By following the methods outlined above, you can address sensor issues and improve your vehicle's performance. Regular maintenance and understanding your car's systems are key to preventing problems before they arise. Always consult your vehicle's service manual for specific instructions and, if in doubt, seek professional help to ensure your car remains in top condition.